Hi everyone, today video uh, going to be some of the Q&A and uh, I want to review and analyze the Clio stock that Ricky Reeves asked me uh, can you please do Clio please <laughs> I brought it in hoping to day trade it and uh, got car holding the back so yeah if you're day trading it's it's nice but uh, the statistics say that uh, that 95 percent of traders lose their money and uh, yeah unfortunately there's emotion emotional thing that uh, in trading made uh, the traders lose money but anyway i prefer and recommend highly to invest in long term and in quality stocks such as uh, for example in the finvis yeah you can see the maps and these gi giant companies that pay dividends are for me like the best stocks to buy from the stock market they are all on the s p 500 so you you see the 500 best companies and some of them pay dividends some of them not so microsoft uh, pays a little bit apple some of the one point i'm not sure five or six percent google does not pay amazon does not pay facebook does not tesla does not pay but there's a, a lot of other companies that are paying for example yeah united health group 1.5 or so dividend yield and um, the most uh, dividends are paying telecoms so AT&T, Verizon and so on also Visa does have a li little bit dividends I'm not sure 0. Point something and MasterCard also but they are increasing the dividends by like 20, 30 I think some year MasterCard increased the dividends by 30%, which is huge. Visa, I think, like around 10 to 14. And a lot of the stocks increase the stock, uh, they increase the dividends by over 10%. So it's, it's uh, like comparing to salary. If you ask your like a supervisor or the <laughs> for the salary increasing it's usually like one to two percent per year the, the salary increasing but uh, yeah in, in stock market they're increasing some of them increasing very well but if they are high already as the AT&T or Verizon they have dividend yield I think AT&T has over 7% or something like that and Verizon some something around 4.5 or 5 uh, yeah they're, in, they're increasing the dividends by like 2% per year which is like not so bad but comparing to other companies it's uh, lower but they already like paying more on the dividend yield and if there's stock market correction, you could buy uh, better uh, the dividend yield on cost. So if the stock market went, goes down or crash, there would be better opportunities to buy in and so on. Uh, yeah, the, define your strategy and if you day trade, be careful uh, as I see you brought on uh, like high and yeah you're holding the back so this kind of a not so good thing but yeah but it seemed to pick up but uh, you're a lot smarter than me thanks bro in the stock market i think if you have the the investing investing idea and the returns that you want the strategy that you want uh, if you define it then yeah it's it's a lot of it's a lot of easier to like begin to buying stocks so you're not buying then some some of the stocks that you're telling me 
and because they are highly volatile as you can see the stock that you suggested me to look at China Liberal Education Holding yeah there is spikes but it's highly volatile I'm, I'm not sure like n not all investors or traders used to to the volatility so you, you brought here you thought it's around like good level then it drops like 30 40 percent is it worth it or not i don't know but my risk taking abilities does not like allow to such volatility anyway if there's crash coming the also the big companies could go around minus 30 for example tesla went pretty much we opened one month performance 11 percent down and okay if we one week four percent three month okay I, apple 12 percent down so yeah it's it's stock market it's volatile if you're not used to or don't want to volatile shares you could buy uh, some of the etfs or obligations which are less risky but less volatile anyway i look at some of the comments when do you think stock like cc yeah answered that already uh, bro speak up uh, <laughs> you sound bored you want to get more subs more excitement in words yeah thanks chris i know i'm pretty boring but uh, the investment investment is is i think boring because uh, if you're not day trading if you invest long term in quality stocks you might buy only like once in month some stocks and that's it uh, for a month I went parabolic so you're late yeah I try to I try to be more accurate and uh, more of uh, like not being late on uh, researching because uh, because uh, if, if I found the stock which are going like uh, for example here in February and pretty much knowing that it could blow up yeah but I, I'm usually late and it's coming like a few days off after or one day after hey bro what did you think the price uh, that is now you can enter or yeah m many of you uh, asking uh, like uh, which is the best price to get in in any stock for example i prefer if you're investing long term in good quality companies you could buy for example here at the level nine dollars per share the same company or and yeah from the first is not considered investment advice because if you buy here then it goes down you buy you buy in october at level of like 5.5 .5. then you buy in december then it goes down and yeah that's why uh, pretty much uh, the good thing is uh, to have some of them if if you look at the united health group they're paying good dividends uh yeah it's actually on cost 1.34 but those who brought the stock uh, at level of 300 because i remember the day i brought uh, uh, the united health company at level of 300 i think it was in uh, i think it was in september or so the dividend yield on cost was pretty much uh, 1.8 so it's almost two percent and yeah i brought it here 320 i brought it here 210 300 then it grew up then it so it's better to diversify by time to not lose money uh, at the same time we received the dividends quarterly and so on 
to try and say I'm link look up more. I think you got phone while you're reaching <laughs> parabolic bait as your patron stuff. <laughs> Yeah, right. I jumped in yesterday. Well, yeah, Ricky, man, it's it's better to hold uh, in some of the positions. Like, yeah, if you would draw some of not quality stocks, you could be holding many many years. But yeah. I heard a Vanguard somewhere was it CEO who was saying buy everything and hold it forever. Also, I think the Warren Buffett say pretty much the same. And may I, I recommend the stock tweets also. Here you find the community, and I, I really like I recently researched this one. So Anyway, uh, we can I can uh, do research on the clear. So Ricky, here it comes it's for you <laughs> and for others. So yeah, many of them pretty much bullish, but uh, yeah. So currently, it's level of uh, three nine five. So it could go down. So somewhere I think 360 or even 348. Anyway, it's a company that provides education service and products under the China Liberal brand name in China. Uh, yeah, the simple Wall Street rewarding the stock by uh, that uh, the revenue grew by 7.7% 7 .7 past year. I think that's not significant, but anyway, that's positive side. The market cap is not meaningful, 23 million only, so it might be highly volatile share. Profit margins are lower than their last year's volatile share price. Yeah, high level of non-cash earnings. Yeah, they raised capital, and uh, there was an M&A and product updates, and also CEO change. They have now one year return when they started in July, in June or, or my May. Twelfth of May, the late latest day. Anyway, ninety days return minus eight percent. Lower than the uh, better than the industries, but not the market. Long term press related to concerns less volatile. It's pretty risky stock, and uh, yeah, valuation side based on PE ratio is overbought because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, tip ranks has not of price targets or stock forecast, and also the market watch has no also. And uh, yeah, future growth 42% on the consumer services industry. Past performance last year's earning growth decreased by 71%, which is not a good thing, but yeah, and, and has a high level of non cash earnings. Financial health side. The company is debt free, but uh, yeah, they do have a little bit of cash, six million, and equity, nine million. Um, pretty risky, but balance sheet looks good, and they're not paying dividends. Board members, uh, insider trading, no volumes. General public holding, forty-two percent. Ind uh, individual insiders, thirty-two percent. Private companies, twenty-four point seven. Also, in institutions, and there is no uh, currently. I think the yeah last reporting holding date. Not so 
long ago, but top shareholders a little bit hard because there is no updated data, and yeah, they could be some institutions either in here, but man, it's, I think for me it's too risky to enter like this kind of companies. Shares are standing pretty much on the same level. Total sales increasing, which is very good. And yeah, I see here, it might be the long-term uh, possibilities, which is good. But anyway, if we're counting for sure, the somewhere around $3 per share could be good enterprise, but not sure. Anyway, investing.com, some of the stock for long-term investors as a neutral. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and see you in a future one.